Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In to vi today's video, I will be going over Ravencoin and uh, we're going to go over how to get the wallet set up and how to mine Ravencoin with um, your GPU. So Ravencoin um, is a relatively new coin and you can check their website here, ravencoin.org and the basically Ravencoin's technology is wrapped around their new algorithm which is called X16R so it is ASIC resistant meaning um, all those ASIC miners that are very popular for Bitcoin um, are not uh, right at this point are not um, ideal to be mining for mining it and um, so they've created their own algorithm uh, for mining to that improves on um, the current um, algorithms like X11, X13, X15, etc. So you can check their white paper here. Now this coin, um, the reason why I just started mining it is really more for for uh, educational purposes, for fun. This it's not listed on any exchange. Although that you can trade uh, for coins peer-to-peer um, -peer in their Discord, um, but I just wanted to give it a try, see how I can mine it, see how it works, and just uh, check out check the technology out. And it's really early. Uh, it's really um, like I have uh, 1060 uh, Nvidia 1060 card. Uh, mining it and after 24 hours I believe I got over a thousand raven coin now of course there's being on no market or exchanges there's um, no at attached value to it so this is just something for fun and who knows if if this technology either is utilized or they um, they are able to market this coin to a point where there's a lot more demand and it gets on exchanges, uh, it may be well worth my time and resources. Anyway, let's get started. First, uh, this is their webpage. Very plain, very simple webpage. And then they have a medium post where they talk about Ravencoin and its purpose, its abstract. Oh, you can read it here. I'll put down the links. And then, um, of course, their Twitter and um, where you can talk with them in their uh, in their uh, Telegram and Discord group, and then of course their Twitter handle, all their contact information. So it's it's over there. Um, if we go to their Bitcoin Talk announcement thread, um, we'll get a lot more information about the coin and its history. As you can see, it started late last year. And let's go down here. Here are the coin specs. It is, the algorithm is X16R. And then the block time one minute, block reward is 5,000 Raven coins. And this is the, the ticker symbol. Very high supply at 21 billion. And there's no founder's reward, no ICO. Now in this, um, we're gonna just do their, uh, the Windows wallet, so. But as you can see, they also have a, a paper wallet as well. I didn't check it out yet, but let me just go here and check it out. So let's click here. And of course with paper wallets, you're able to um, download the repository so you can run it offline. While that's downloading, let us go to, actually it's just about done. So I'm gonna open up. And let me bring this over to my other screen. right now extracting uh, 
it's a large file, but I assume it's because it is able to do other coins as well. So this is what it is. And I'm going to go to the index. Let's copy it. Put it in this window here. So we should find Raven coin here. I do not see it. Huh. So it looks like, uh, well, let's do, let me do a quick search. Maybe they just didn't have it in their, um, they didn't have it in their, uh, HTML file and we might have to just enter it manually. Nope, I don't see it. I that's probably one thing to to check to see if uh, why it is not in there. So let's just try Raven. Ah. Actually, there is, nope, it's not there. Okay, right, let's move on. Let's go to the Windows wallet. We're gonna go click here and we're going to click on Windows. And then we're gonna get the Windows, we're gonna download the Qt wallet. And click download. Done downloading, gonna double click it. And when it's gonna show this and you can put it on a default directory or a custom data directory. I'm gonna do a custom because I like to keep my, um, I like to keep my, uh, the blockchains that I download. And then actually let's close over here. Do a custom. I'm going to select my external drive, create a new folder called Raven. And this is basically whatever preference you have. Um, if you have enough storage on your computer, you can select the default, but this is a laptop. So I'm going to do it on an external drive. Click OK. And you can see it's now installing and it's going to start syncing with the blockchain. So it's only five weeks behind, very new coin. So I'm going to click hide. Oh, you'll probably get a prompt from Windows and you want to click allow access. So it is syncing, but while it's syncing, we can uh, get our receive address and you can do so by going to file, receiving address, and then Click new, and then I like to uh, create one called mining just to uh, make just to see, make uh, uh, keep them separate from what I get from mining and or just from regular transfers. So you see over here, this is the address. If you go here, right click, click copy address, and then let me just get a notepad ready. So. What I like to do is just paste this address on. So this is my Raven address, Raven coin address. So I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna minimize this because this is where we want to mine to. While the wallet is syncing, I'm going to go back to the announcement thread because if you scroll down, you have, um, links to the miners. Now this laptop is running an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. So I'm going to click over here because I want to mine with my GPU. So I'm going to click over here for the Windows binary and wait for it to download. Still syncing. And let's go over here. Well, looks like now it is a 7Z file, so you will need to get 
uh, an extractor to um, to unzip it. I guess you can also get the uh, no, that's the source code. So let's open this up. And I'm going to extract it. So let's let me bring it on to my other my other screen here. So I have it here on my D drive. It's going to right click and extract here. So you'll see this happening and then double click and over here we're going to see already we have two bat files that are configured for two of the two of the mining pools. Um, personally um, I, I, I prefer the three-eyed so um, you're basically going to right click and select edit and over here you're going to see this. Now this address is what you're going to change. So I'm going to go back to that uh, text file over here. This text file we had my um, the address that the wallet created. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to highlight the old address in here. And then paste it. So it is going to mine directly to this address. I'm going to click save. So that's pretty much it. We got everything um, set up to mine. And if you want to do, if you are using Supernova, uh, you basically can do the same thing as well. Um, but I, I think they have different, um, you have to register with them and create a worker. So I am not registered with them. Um, I rather just do it this way because it seems more direct. And from there, you just double click this and it will start running. Now, if you do have antivirus software, it will flag it because it is a minor. So it's up to you if you want to disable your antivirus or not, but it will flag this software and it won't run, run properly. So this is a NVIDIA uh, GTX 1050 on a laptop. And right now we just started mining. And then let us go to the 3i pool. And let me get the information here. This is the website, pool.3i.info. While this is setting itself up, we're going to go and see how we can check our mining stats. So to check your mining stats, go to wallet. And then we're going to copy and paste that address. Oops. It's right here. And then click submit. And then you could see what your stats are right now. Right now, there's nothing right now, as we have not gotten any. Um, confirmations yet or um, with uh, I guess we haven't re it's still starting it's still getting itself set up with the system hopefully uh, usually I don't know it depends on the on the graphics card but normally it's it's really quick with my 1060 but this one does take a while oh there we go we got a share that's accepted so Let's see if we have our hash rate start showing up here. Not yet. It does take some time for it to show. Now, just remember that accepted shares does not mean what um, that's uh, how much Raven they're going to give you. It's just um, the pool is accepting your, your share of the, of the work that's going on. And depending on the whole pool and who contributed to the 
to the to my, to that mining block will determine how much you'll get. So there we go. We got a hash rate now. So we can see this is our hash rate, and hopefully we'll be able to earn some Raven. This is not exactly a powerful um, um, CPU, uh, GPU, but it is something that you can mine on. Um, it, and once this thing has synced and they do a payout, you should be seeing uh, coins coming into your wallet. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.